What's up guys, it's Charles here with Rocket Punch Army and as you can see I got a couple of awesome or two couples of awesome robots here. Since it's not going to be much of a review I figured I'd give you guys a little backstory of what's going on. So we're going to be re reviewing a um, figure that's very important in my not only childhood but in my collecting and not so much in collecting but just one of those things that you grow up with. But um, So I'll start off with Daitarn on the left over here. You can only see a little bit of him there. Uh, these are all solo Chogoking, by the way, in case you're wondering, in case you're new to the channel. Uh, made by Bandai. So, I think, let's see what order these things happen in. Alright, so Diatarn was actually my very first Chogoking figure, which I came across when I lived in New York in Queens, and my uncle had bought a robot for my cousin, who passed away recently, unfortunately, uh, so may he rest in peace. Um, but he had Ditarn and I really loved it. I seemed to even enjoy it more than he did. And my uncle noticed that and he actually went out into one of his rooms. He had like a little room where he keeps his tools in. He came back out with a brand new Ditarn and gave it to me. I think it was his own personal one. And he actually gave it to me, which was awesome. And I, I, that's it. The thing freaked me out. It was metal. It had sharp blades on the feet. It had missiles that launched. It was ridiculous, right? I think around that time also, you know, Voltron was on the air. Or maybe not. I don't remember Voltron being part of that. But anyway, Voltron uh, came along. These guys, they showed them back to back or whatever. It went, a couple of days, this guy. I forgot how that was back then, but I remember the, the opening scene and everything freaked me out. And it's, like, had an effect on me till now. Obviously, I'm collecting freaking robots. But this was probably the high point of my collecting. I was waiting for this guy to come out, which I was waiting for. So that's kind of why, that's actually even maybe something to do with why the reviews are so little after that. It's just like I've reached my climax here, I guess. But, um, you know, there's still cool stuff coming out. So I try whenever I can. But Voltron uh, affected me not only toy-wise. Um, I'll tell you the backstory on that. You guys are more than welcome to fast forward through uh, this but I came across Voltron, obviously the cartoons, which blew me away. But then there was a kid in my cafeteria that walked by with his lunch tray. And on his lunch tray was a yellow lion. And it freaked out because this is the days before internet. Um, Voltron was on the air, but there was no Voltron toys. So I'm like, how the hell does this thing exist? So it turns out he told me he found it in a Chinese place uh, in Chinatown or something. I think he had the Go Lion. Um, I don't think the lion bots, well, the lion bots were around, but anyway, that's besides the point. He had a big, chunky metal toy, and that had such an impact on me that I, it freaked me out, changed the rest of my life, just seeing a big, well, at the time, big, because I was small, and heavy. All right, so obviously the Voltron craze, blah, blah, blah. I never got a Voltron as a kid young. I did get lion bots later on when I was a little bit older, maybe around. 13-ish, maybe a little bit more, but um, the Voltron I did get was Die Rugger, or the vehicle Voltron. It was my birthday, we had just come out of an amusement park, and I got a big box, I ripped it open, it said Voltron, I freaked out, it wasn't the Lion Voltron, but I loved it all the same because I actually, finally, had a Voltron. And I think, well, definitely after that, we were in Epcot Center in Florida, and there was a ride, uh, I think Space Mountain, I don't know. I was terrified of roller coasters, but basically um, that has something to do with it. I'll get to it in a second. We went into the store, we walked in, it was a wall, literally a wall. It would curve around in the back. I just remember it, like in the corner, it would come this way and that way. It was kind of curved. And the whole wall, taller than me, was full of Godaikins. And they were lined up one behind the other it was just like an amazing thing as a kid to see and I'm like oh my god these are those robots that I keep seeing you know all over the place and little booklets and stuff they didn't have Go Lion because I knew he was available with that because I could see it on the box another promotional material laying around so the closest thing to it I well actually I don't remember seeing T28 but I'm sure he was there because they had all of them I do remember seeing um, Gordian or Guardian he was there, Sun Vulcan, which we ended up buying for my brother. But the one that stood out for me was Daltanius, which is this guy here. Um, so you can see how this is all tying in because I'm going to be checking out the new Daltanius. But this is the first Solo of Chogokin release, the regular one. 
But um, yeah, uh, and the deal was that if I went on that roller coaster, I could get Daltanius. So as terrified as I was of roller coasters, I did it for this guy. I did it. I got on the roller coaster. Sure enough, we went back into the store. I got my Daltanius. My brother got his son Vulcan. And that is pretty much why all these are important to me. I think if I had to narrow... I've been talking about focusing my uh, collections. Uh, I don't collect a lot of Daltanius. I think that's the only Daltanius. I, oh, be, besides the vintage one, which you guys will see in a second, and the newest one I got. But mostly I collect uh, Voltron and things like that. And I got a few die times. But I figured you guys might want to know that. As boring as it is, some of you like stuff like that. Some of you just want to get to the nitty-gritty and check out the robots. You're obviously more than welcome to forward. But I'm pretty much done. I think that's all I needed to say. But just wanted to explain why these robots are important and getting to the Daltanius, which is the point of this video. So thanks for listening. All right. All right, so here we got the... Big Bad Toy Store collector box, which again is just the cardboard and the wrapping, plastic and all that, so you can store it. Um, and inside, obviously, is the figures. This is what we're going to be looking at. It's got a beautiful, beautiful artwork. The first thing that strikes me on this is the artwork on this. It's so awesome. Not even artwork. I mean, it's just photography, and then just but just the Japanese way of laying out their graphics has always intrigued me as a kid and I, I think all of the solo show working should have been done this way it should have been done in a way where they all look vintage I'm talking about uh, you know the um, the the Volt, uh, the gold line release die rugger all that stuff should have been done in, in a way where uh, it looks like the vintage but I, I can see what they're doing I mean they're starting a new thing they want it to look modern but this is amazing so this is looks more like the um, Japanese uh, Daltanis the Popey It'd be kind of cool if, like, if they sold it for America with the uh, Godaiken looking thing, because that's the one I remember. But still, that's besides the point. This is awesome, and you know I've got a few updates like the Solo Chogok in here. But I like how they kept the green box and then the pictures on the side, and then this looks very typical of a Solo Chogok in uh, back of the box, which just has a photo of everything. Now, because I have reviewed at least. I think at least two times. I think I reviewed Daltanius for Collection DX. I have bad memory. Maybe I didn't. But I think I did it twice for my channel. Like an old version and then a new version. Now I'm doing this one. So it's not going to be a full review, guys. I'm not going to go through all these things. You can watch my review. The link will be in the description, hopefully. But I will show you a combined just to do a comparison between the older one and the new one. Let's do like a... ASM, ASMR, what are those things called where people just make like videos with noise? Look at this. Uh, oh, this one. Ah. A lot of tape on this bad boy. At least the tape comes off easily. Crackles off. It doesn't really crackle off, it's just the noise it makes. But kind of like the experience of opening something here there we go I gotta say the box that I got from BBTS is super minty fresh since I got it in that collector box they picked the best boxes to send so I'm gonna kind of keep it that way I'll pull out the styrofoam tray here oh that's right it's the big tray so it's kind of cool how they do this they put the little plastic tray over that so you can see all the bits and pieces just like a vintage figure but I like that it's protected by this plastic there was a lot of uh, older uh, Chogokin, uh, solo Chogokins that didn't have this outer plastic thing to protect that little window display there now again since it's not going to be a full review I do want to show you the the tray of accessories that it comes with all right so you can just see what the new one comes with and the coloration and all that because I'm not going to be getting into this again it's not a review it's just a comparison I don't know if this warrants a full review but here's everything the, the big difference here uh, not only with the coloration of the figure and the way it's painted um, it also comes with that head right there this is the oh this is the regular head I think this is just the regular head that it comes with 
all right but it doesn't come attached because it's meant to look like the vintage one which is going to be right here for Belarios. look at that it looks just like the vintage well in the bag you can't see anything really <laughs> so let's go ahead and get in here I don't want to touch the chrome look at that let's try to do a comparison now look at that it's a they did a great job it looks very very similar be kind of cool if they did that little black line coming down from the nose uh, but overall they they, uh, they pretty much got it spot on I'm sorry I have to hold it this way it's up against the table obviously you don't get a shooting feature unfortunately on the newer figure but you do get nice airbrush and nice gloss there wow this looks really really good I'm actually gonna put my uh, gloves on for this but just in case I do have my handy pro Honda high performance spray cleaner and polish I don't know if this warrants going over how awesome this stuff is but buy it and you'll see what I mean it's amazing it's got actual wax in it Cornaba wax which is good for protecting stuff it won't ruin the finish or anything like that but anyway getting back to this chrome is nicely done I think it's just uh, chrome with yellow uh, sprayed over it I think that's how Bandai does their gold chrome I don't see any defects in the chrome I thought I saw something there but overall very good all right so that's Bellarios. All right, and here we have Atlas without his uh, little horn thing going on. It's just straight out of the box. Feels hefty. Uh, uh, the size here, again, not a review, but it does feel hefty for its size, whereas Bellarios doesn't feel as heavy as I want him to feel. But this feels very good for his size, I guess. And here we have Gumpa, or Gumper, I guess. I don't know if that's how they say it in Japanese, Gumpa. Sounds like they would, but um, here he is. It, it does have a slight uh, difference in coloration, which we're going to compare really in robot mode. I really wanted to do the comparison in robot mode, but um, Gumper feels nice. Everything looks cool. It actually, if if you were to hold this like this, I would think you're holding the the uh, the vintage one. It's very similar, except we know the vintage has white over here, but. Um, it did a very good job with this, I think, to make it look modern and also like the vintage. Or maybe the vintage was that, you know, far ahead of itself that it was really good and accurate. If you look in here, there are different uh, blues in here. You got the regular blue and then the darker blue, and it's kind of yellowish, almost like it's been, uh, not yellowish, like it's been yellowed over time. And I, I, I get a little nervous with metallic blue plastic. We all know what happens to that. It gets brittle. Uh, I haven't had it happen to any of my newer stuff, but it's still something I uh, worry about. So I'm in the process of combining. I wanted to show you guys any coloration differences between the atlases. There doesn't seem to be any that I can see. The green cockpit is a little darker on the the new one, the renewal. Um, the plastics again are a little uh, yellowed like I don't know if they do that on purpose. It's like a blue metallic plastic and it looks like it's been faded. Maybe they're doing that to get it, give it a more vintage look but it's uh, this almost looks older, <laughs> so they're doing a good job at making it look older. Uh, I forgot to take these little yellow things off here. Hopefully, I didn't scratch them up, but you got to take those off. All right, guys, so I got them all combined together here for comparison. I got to say that that new one really, really, really looks good. Nothing wrong with the older one, but this one just has like this sinister look. Maybe it's just like the chrome and everything just really just highlights a lot of things. I mean, just look at it. It looks a little more striking, if I dare say. But um, let's continue looking around see the color differences. Obviously, uh, this has a more mustard yellow kind of yellow. That's yellow. <laughs> and you'll see a more school bus yellow on here, the orangey and yellow on there. Um, going around back, you'll see the butt part. Or did I not flip it around? That's because I didn't flip it around. This is stuff you should do before you start filming. I just wanted to show you I'm not that professional. And there's the back. It still has that yellowish thing going on. I, I wonder if they did that on purpose. Because it doesn't match the feet, which are painted uh, die cast metal. But uh, it doesn't really deter or... I don't know if that's the word. It doesn't really uh, affect the look 
or the feel of the figure. I still think it looks amazing. Uh, if you have the original, uh, maybe, 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 you may want the uh, new one. Oh my god, I just realized my Daltanis doesn't have these fins. I hope I have them somewhere. I hope I didn't lose those. I really hope I didn't lose them. But, um, keep scanning up. Um, anyway, I was getting back to, uh, if you own the, this one, is it worth getting this one? Uh, maybe not, maybe not. Unless you really absolutely have to have both like me, because I have the original and I want it to look like the original. So let's go ahead and put them side by side. So again, it's not—I don't really think it's a necessary purchase unless you end up liking the look of it more. Let's compare them like that. Actually, I want to do the vintage pose, which uh, it shows on the box. There we go. <laughs> it does create that straight up pose, oh, let me straighten up the feet here, that's probably why it looks so weird. You can see it replicates the old one very nicely. Not exactly, but nicely. I like what they did with the uh, newer one where the legs are in the back instead of over here. That always bothered me about the original Dattani, it's just having his arms here. But it's, it's funny that this was meant to be the original Voltron because even Bellarius could, bro I think, can you attach Voltron legs on there? I think I tried that as a kid. I'm not sure if that worked out, but <laughs> but even the way the arms fold here and everything, it's, it's very similar, very Voltron-y. But, um, you got the opening mouth, closing mouth, just like this guy here. Wish I still had them. I'm sure I have missiles. They're all over the place in this house, but... I'm very happy with my purchase. I'm glad I got it. Um, again, you don't really need to get it if you have the original, but if you like it, you can click the link in the description below to get your own. Uh, I think I'm going to go on the search for those fins on the old one, but that's pretty much it, guys. I don't have anything else to say in, at the moment. Thank you for tuning in, and if you want to support the channel, give it a like, give it a share, things like that. If you want to see the review, because a lot of you are probably like, what the hell, you didn't even review this. I have the review up. Just... It's on my channel, or it's in the link in the description. I remember if I remember to do it, but um, just wanted to show you guys this here. But uh, thank you for tuning in, guys. Until next time, bye bye.